Every day I'm filming and uploading. It's called Vlogmas. Only if you want to. <laughs> hey Google, turn on the lamp. I look like a nice little pretty colonial woman on her way to steal your man. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs> it's 19 a.m. Who cares? It, it literally doesn't matter. Just believe me when I say it's 8, 19 a.m. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the life. <sighs> That's my mom yelling for Clementine, my cat. Um, we call her Clemouche. And sometimes she calls her Ava, which is her old name. <laughs> that they gave her at the sanctuary. Anyway. Clemouche! You have a lot of work to do. Usually at this point, I like to see if any of my favorite podcasters post their podcast because it's Monday. Nope, they all disappoint me. Just like myself, I usually uploaded my podcast on Mondays, but I don't do that either. So, and these like little hydrocolic bads, what are they called? Hydrocolic bads? Hydro, 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 hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid pads. One time I referred to them as my pimpy juice patches and now adam won't stop referring to them as that it did work i did my nails the other day to feel a little bit more feminine and pretty because i was feeling so out of it and i lost my pinky nail i forgot i have this yesterday i was in the mood to get a donut sorry polish tv is always on in my house we had a pumpkin mousse one which i ate it was a lot it was good but it was just a lot. And I got a Boston cream one. Is this a very nutritious, beautiful breakfast? No. Is it making me happy? Yes. I live pretty close to a very popular vegan bakery. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Also, someone who I never met before, Venmo requested me. I did not give them the $10. Am I a bad person? Not to be annoying, but this is just simply too much cream. I feel like I should be suing the grocery store, to be quite honest. I guess I can turn off my humidifier now. Mm, too quiet. Normally, I just did the groceries for my entire family since my mom is immunocompromised. But since COVID cases are getting so bad where I live, we're like, no, we literally can't even risk it anymore. It's just simply not worth it. And also, a lot of people, well, when I say a lot, I mean like three, two, four people in the store will not have a mask on. And I'm like, are you kidding? We have decided that we're just gonna do curbside pickup from here on out. Ah, so we try to do it through Giant, if you know what Giant is. <laughs> and their website sucks. We've had so many issues. I was literally on like the phone with customer service for like an hour last week. The user experience is not good. That's not me to sound like a little bitchy Karen. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do curbside pickup, I feel like your website should work a little bit better. Let me explain a little bit of something to you. Okay, today is November 30th when I'm filming this and it will go up tomorrow, which is December 1st. I asked you guys in my last video, like, okay, do you wanna see Vlogmas from me? Is that like something that you'd be interested in? And I got like an overwhelming response of yes, obviously, like overwhelming in a good way, which I was really excited about because I was like, oh my God, like this is so fun. But then also a lot of people who I recognize you guys, cause a lot of you will comment on my videos. I recognize like your little, like icons or profile pic, whatever. I recognize you guys. And a lot of you guys who probably know me very well are like, Nicole, only if you're not gonna get stressed out, maybe you should wait until you graduate. Like we don't want you to be stressed out and overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overworked, overwhelmed. I'm here to tell you I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Let me tell you why I want to do Vlogmas. The reason I wanted to do Vlogmas this year is because I am lonely, okay? My friends are in town because of, you know, winter break or whatever. My boyfriend's in town. I can't see any of them because of COVID and because my mom is in her last month of chemo. It's, and it, cases are extremely bad right now. I absolutely cannot risk seeing people. Like if I do, it has to be a very socially distant, type of way, like us sitting in our cars type of thing. So, because I cannot risk it, I am lonely. I will be graduating very, very soon. This week is technically my last full week of school. And then next week is technically finals week, but I only have projects. I don't have exams. I'm not gonna be seeing anyone for the holiday season. I'm not being able to see my family outside of my mom and my stepdad. I am literally going to be doing the same thing that I've been doing the past eight months, except I'm going to be graduated and I'm going to be sad and I'm going to be bored. Think me vlogging will help me feel, first of all, less lonely. Think it'll motivate me to actually get up and do things because I'm like, oh my God, if I don't do something today, then I won't have a vlog. Because sometimes I just want to lay in bed, but not in like a relaxing way, in a 
depressive way and I don't want to do that so I think this will be a good motivator for me and also help me appreciate my life a little bit more because whenever I do vlogs I like romanticize my own life I'm like oh my life does look pretty cool it might be really boring it might be me sitting at this desk a lot of the time but I'm gonna try and plan some fun stuff that I can actually do that will make me feel, first of all, a little bit more Christmassy because Christmas time in general is my favorite time of the year. If I miss a day, I miss a day, okay? And I also plan on doing like real videos and not always vlogs. So just be on the lookout for that, I guess. But I just wanted to update you guys on like why I wanted to do Vlogmas in the first place. My skin looks very nice. <sighs> to start off my day, it's currently 11 already. I wrote down what assignments I need to do. This is my little planner that I use. It's a passion planner, but it's like a daily planner. I used to use the weekly planners. It just didn't work for me. So I'm excited to use this, especially when I'm just going to be making like videos, like just videos. Isn't that cool? Like in a few weeks, this will be the only thing that I do making videos i cannot wait i literally cannot wait to be completely transparent with you guys a lot of my assignments are late like very much so late i don't know what my grades are gonna look like it's been very hard for me to get all my assignments done with everything like going on at home for me like it's been extremely difficult just because if anybody's family has gone through chemo and knows anything what it's like you, it's unpredictable so you literally cannot plan for what that day will look like like the day could start off looking great and then the rest of the half of the day is like terrible for that person a lot of my professors have been extremely understanding i finally got an ssd a lot of you guys whenever i have any sort of like technical issues you guys will yell at me and be like nicole stop using an external hard drive to edit off of and use an get an ssd i ordered it for black friday and it came yesterday it was a, like a really really good deal it was like 125 dollars off which is really amazing i tried to edit a video off of it last night and it worked beautifully so I'm very excited to run, you know, like Final Cut Pro off of that and everything. I don't know if anybody cares about that. Blue light glasses on, AirPods in. Probably gonna listen to that one chick on on YouTube. The lo-fi hip-hop radio beats to study to. You know who I'm talking about. Are we gonna do like a little time-lapse moment over here? I think we are. <sighs> I'm already stressed out. I have to ask my school to override one of my classes to be counted towards another class. Why do I have to do that? This is something I've been putting off since the beginning of September and this will probably take me less than five minutes to do. Sorry, Jake. Jake just called me, but Jake always calls me. I love Jake dearly, but I'm trying to do work. Sorry, Jake. Jake isn't watching this. If Jake is watching this... That took less than five minutes and it took me two months to do, but it's still done. Right now, I'm gonna do some business emails. <laughs> In case you're ever wondering what YouTubers mean when they say that they're doing business emails or whatever, it's usually just we get an email about potential brand deal or sponsorship or anything like that. And well, I personally run my own emails, but I will then forward it to my managers and be like, hello please talk it out with them use your business language that you went to school for that i don't know also my managers are badasses and can negotiate anything and i literally can't like a brand could be like we will pay you in dirt and a hug and i'll be like great i'll take it <laughs> that's what my managers are there for to keep me in check and say no nicole you are worth so much more you're worth hug and a kiss and that's it oh wow i'm done with emails that's because I did it for like an hour yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna peace out for a while. I'm gonna do my assignments. Although it does make me feel better that I'm doing this while I'm being recorded, but I'm worried that my battery will run out. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I won't forget about you. I, I promise. I've forgotten about a lot, but I won't forget about you, okay? All right. I'm putting you in the vlog very quickly because people think that we broke up. We didn't. It's just a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> A lot has happened. I didn't do my work because I wasn't being filmed. <sighs> I made Clementine a vet appointment because she needs her last shot in her ass. Now we're just enjoying the lovely weather. Nice. Wow, it's beautiful. She's enjoying the rain. Check her, check her, check her. Oh, no, Hello. Yeah. Pacha, pacha. We're making gnocchi. I don't have a Trader Joe's by me. Like I did when I was at college and I really 
took it for granted. A few weeks, like a month ago, I drove out to my friend Jake's Trader Joe's, which is all the way in New Jersey. But I just drove to go get his little Trader Joe's discount and give him my old lighting. It is just simply not the holidays if your family is not fighting. Except I'm not involved this time. So, <laughs> here's my little gnocchi. Probably made it wrong. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished watching the Vanity Fair video of Billie Eilish from like all the years past. I have loved Billie Eilish since summer going into my sophomore year of college. So like over two years now when I found her. I also had I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore, but I used to always skip it on my playlist because I was like, this song makes me too sad. It was a very good video. It was very long, it was 27 minutes and I've avoided doing so much stuff. So much fun like pop culture music media stuff coming up like for example new strokes music video tomorrow new euphoria episode in like a week and also julian casablanca is, is doing an interview tonight with neil drop so a lot of fun like little pop culture things that i love and i need to be doing my work but i don't want to i just want to lay here all day with her <laughs> also a brand reached out to me that they want to send me a whole box for her as a gift. She's like a little influencer. So shout out to Mio Box for wanting to send her toys and treats. One day you had fleas and parasites and ear mites and you still might have ear mites. You were dumped in a barn and now you're an influencer and you're getting free boxes. Oh my god, I love you. Hello everyone. Are you gonna say hello? Hi. <laughs> everyone wants to know how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, good. <laughs> for today, for today, good. 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 Tomorrow, who I knows? <laughs> I wanted to get a Christmas cow, an inflatable Christmas cow, like a blow up Christmas. It's just a little cow and it just has a Santa hat. There's nothing Christmassy about it. But I wanted it because I think cows are one of my favorite animals. And I saw in Walmart, I think it was $15 and now it's $45. Be careful. I am. Right now we're on our way to the Polish church to pick up how many? <laughs> 21 dozen? 25. 25 dozen pierogi for other people, not for us. And we're we gonna- don't have some for me. Okay, and then tomorrow we're making deliveries, so we're like the little Polish Santas. And then we're picking up our groceries later on. This is all flooded. Oh wow, God. this is some good content. Very nice. Mm. Very good. Ours is dark and sad. Mm. It just needs a little Christmas cow. It's a dark time, right? <laughs> Welcome back to me at my desk. I realized I didn't film anything fun after the last clip, and that's just because we picked up pierogi and then we picked up our pickup grocery, whatever, whatever it's called. And I also took off one more class off my little wall. If you don't know, this is my little wall of all the assignments that I have due left. And so I took down two sticky notes, meaning that I just have three classes left to go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that you're gonna see a vlog from me tomorrow. So you're gonna see a vlog from me tomorrow. This is kind of fun. I like Vlogmas. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Wait, I just totally like shut off my camera without doing any of my outro stuff, which is probably something I should do during Vlogmas, shouldn't I? Okay, make sure that you give this video a like if you liked it or you like me. Also leave a comment what you wanna see me do in Vlogmas. Also make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty and if not, you're disgusting. Also make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. Now, if you wanna follow me on my other social media like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nicole Raffi. And if you wanna follow me on my TikTok, it is at Nikki Nasty. Boom, I'm a queen at this. Okay, now I'm really gonna go, goodbye. <laughs> Okay.